Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome to a special Ark Survival Evolve video. Today we're taking a look at the Tapiara Tech Saddle. It's here, update 259 guys. This will be coming to console possibly the next day or maybe early start of next week. Um, it just looks pretty badass, doesn't it? It does look pretty good. This is the first proper flyer to have some tech gear on it. So who knows if they're going to add any more to it. I know a lot of people would really like maybe seeing the Quets. And there's loads of other creatures, you guys give me some suggestions, but it does look, I think this is one of the better tech saddles. I know the T-Rex look pretty good, and some of the other creatures, but for me, I, I looked. it looked a bit dodgy, it did look a bit silly, it looked a bit stupid at first when I first saw it. But I'm looking at it now, right up close, I've got to say, I really like it, I really like the way its helmet is sitting on its face. It just looks really solid. It just looks like a you know you could pierce through a wall just by going through it. So um, we are on Ragnarok. So I thought we'd take the opportunity to actually go and have a little fly around Ragnarok, a little explore on our little Tapiara. Um, it is great stuff. It is really great stuff. It's really good. I mean, the way you can move it as well. And should we, well, obviously, it's got a new mode to it. I don't know how to activate it. No, that's not. Oh, no. 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 No, that's gone wrong. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Thank you very much. Right, so that's his normal attack. I'm trying all sorts of things. Oh, so it's definitely doing something there. Let's, let's take a look in orbit cam quickly. Oh yeah, look, there you go, okay, so it's, it's making the nozzle come on. Oh, I haven't got any element, that's the problem. Oh, that does look pretty sweet though, doesn't it? Oh, mate, mate, mate. Okay, right, let's go and land somewhere safe so we don't get killed by any carnos. Not now, let's pop it in and we should be able to actually fire. Whoa, shit. Whoa, okay, okay, this is, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Right, where are them freaking aloes? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for you now, pal. They run away. They heard me come. Oh, there they are, there they are, there they are. Whoa. And because it's... The Tapiara really offers a unique... You know, the way you can just kind of move around with a Tapiara is much better than any of the other flying creatures. So this is going to be epic. Like, if you're getting... Look at this. They're running. All right, ding back. Come on. Come at me, bro. Ah, oh, mate. He's dead. He's brown bread. That is that is pretty cool. I, I'm impressed. I, I've not been that big a fan of some of the tech saddles. I've barely played with them. Maybe only for like a little video here and there. But, oh my gosh. No, I'm not, I'm not going to kill them. I'm not going to kill the chops. I'm not going to do it. I'll kill a fucking Pego, though. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. Oh, look. You can just aim downwards as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is going to be brutal. Can you imagine in PvP? You don't even have to worry about creatures like being lined up or, you know, you could just literally hover over a base and just start firing and wailing down on their bases. That is fucked up. That is, that is OP. This is going to be the new PvP meta, mate. I'm telling you now, people are going to be selling their dead granny's ashes to get hold of a fucking Tapiara and get hold of a saddle. Look. Oh, mate. It's really cool. It's really cool. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it. And you can aim a little bit further. How far can it go? I'll say it has got a bit of a distance. Okay, so there is. it does look like there's, there's only certain. So far, it will actually travel. But still, to have that range, to be able to like just aim directly down at such a moment's notice really is going to be like, you know, torpedo runs. You could literally just go... Brrrr. This is great stuff. I think this is amazing. Okay, let's go around. Let's go around. I just want to, you know, just go in first person, third person. Yeah, let's do that. No, I won't do that one. Can't see anything in it. But there you go. That is great. So the commands, I'm going to leave the commands in the description box down below. I'll show it to you as well. You know what? I'll always show it to you just in case. So I'll tell you what. Let's take a look at it. Let's, let me show you exactly what it is. So it's cheat, leave a space, give item, then speech marks, blueprint, then apostrophe or reverse apostrophe, I don't know what that one is. Um, forward slash game, forward slash primal earth, 
forward slash core blueprints, forward slash items, forward slash armor, forward slash saddles, forward slash primal item armor, underscore tapiara, underscore tech, dot primal item armor, 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 underscore tapiara, underscore tech. I'm going to leave it down below, guys. If you're on PC, you're going to copy and paste this. If you're on Xbox, you're going to copy and paste it. If you're on PS4, you're going to just need to tap it out. Now, there are some short commands that I'm going to be showing you in another video, but um, I don't know if they work on these. Now, you can see I actually tried a few different times to see what it would be. Based on what this Mosa saddle was, I thought it would be just a case of swapping out Mosa for Tappy. But clearly, that didn't work. They've actually just reduced it now, so you don't have to type saddle in for the last two words. So, if you're trying to get this legitimately, you're going to be facing off against the bosses. You need to defeat the medium dragon, guys. So, that's that's a pretty tall order, really. Um, but, it's definitely going to be worth it. If you play PvP and official, this is going to be the one you're going to be after from now on. I can't see anyone not wanting to get a hold of this. This is probably one of the best saddles going. Um, you know, the, the, the rest of them are pretty cool. I don't know, I mean, I don't watch that much PvP YouTube. There's a couple people I watch. Um, Emily on PlayStation, um, that's pretty much it. Now and then a little bit of HOD gaming, um, JK with the AK occasionally. Because I'm just not really into PvP, so I, I can't sit here and say I watch them all the time. But if they've got to this level where they're unlocking stuff, that's the only thing I can imagine them probably doing is going for this. Because just the way you can aim, just it just look, it's just so different compared to all the other saddles and stuff like that as well uh, but yeah there's some really cool spots in Ragnarok I can't wait to explore it a bit more I really haven't explored enough of it oh hello you're just appearing out there nowhere Mr Albino Rex get wrecked get the fuck wrecked all right let's go up top here do, do, do. oh man look at it it is just epic I've not seen this area not been around this area at all no, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. This is where I fought the um, when I spawned in the ice wyvern versus the golem. No, it isn't. I don't know. No, this place looks amazing. Why have I not built a base here before? I need to find this place on my server. This is just my single player game, but I need to come on my server and actually find this area. I like it a lot. They're pretty just like spawning out of the rocks or, or, or what? There's loads of argies all just stuck in the thing there. Man, just just getting wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Look, aerial combat, aerial combat. Later, shit lord. Ah, oh, mate. This is the one. This is the one. There's no barrel roll with the, um, the Tekijara. Tekijara or Tapijara? What's that? Another T Rex. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go kill a crap load of T Rexes. Laters. Man, it's just like two shot in these T-Rexes. Look, two shots. No, oh, Alright, three shots. Alright, four shots. You make me look a mug. Splash damage. Five. Yeah, he's dead. He's growing bread. How about these guys over here? Oh, mate. It's OP. It is OP. There's no way you can't tell me this is OP. I'd be getting really super excited now if I was if I had all the resources ready to go and I, I had planned to fight maybe the dragon or the medium dragon the fact that I might actually get a chance to get this saddle now is just going to be epic like truly this this is fucking badass right mate get wrecked whoa hello Oh, I feel sorry for him. I feel bad. I'm shooting defenseless dinos. These aren't even meat eaters. But, you know, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Expand on. Can you shoot right up? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Oh, okay, so I'm, I'm getting a feel for it now, exactly where this place is. Okay, I'll, I'll remember this. So I'm going to come over this side. That is pretty sweet. Right, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys, though, as well. Oh. What have we got going on here? What have we got going on here? I'm coming to the party, people. Welcome to the party, pal. Yeah, get wrecked. Ah, oh, just it is. It's just re. I, just, I can't get enough of how great it is. Just running around on the Tapiara, firing lasers, and just having the, the ability to direct them really well. That that is definitely game changing for me. That is definitely something I would aspire to if I was doing this like official or 
or even on a single player, you know, yeah, I'd, I'd love this, just having this on my actual server. Obviously, I'm never going to get to this stage, because if you've watched my Let's Plays, you know I'm absolutely useless. <laughs> but it would be it would be nice. It would be nice to have this on a server. Maybe I'll get it as a gift. Maybe I'll treat myself. Get 28,000 subscribers. Do you think I deserve a Tapiara saddle? A tech saddle? I think I do. Um, is this a cave? It just looks like a thingy. I don't know what that is. Um... This area is it's pretty cool. I like this area. Look, oh hello. More, more, more. Getting shot, getting wrecked. You've got to keep tapping it. I can't just hold it. Laters. Yeah, this is where I wanted to build my base. Okay, so it's not too far off actually. This is my second location. I've got the castle where I'm actually renovating, but this was going to be my other choice where I was, I was thinking of. of, of. Uh, it's pretty cool. The animations are pretty sweet. Like. I think the animations are definitely really good. It just looks really nice and sharp and bright. M mucho, mucho, well done, wildcard. I don't say it often, I probably just say it a bit more. But mucho, mucho, mucho gracias. This is a fantastic addition. I'm not a lover of tech. I've never, I still don't think it should be in the game. But if it is in the game, then this is the best piece that I like so far out of all the tech saddles um, and offensive weapons. Like even the tech rifle, I'm not keen, you know, on. But this, this is definitely something I really, I, I really like. Ah, oh, it's just, it's just epic. All right, let's go up to the bridge because I've got in mind a nice little screenshot, and it's going to be epic. So yeah, loads of stuff coming in the update, guys. I'm going to be covering a few more bits and bobs. I'm going to be showing you the difference between the crafting skill, what that really means now. I'm going to be showing you guys about the no clipping, how you can build with no clipping now. All sorts of things. Now I didn't want to do it all in one video though, um, because I wanted to get this out as quick as I could to you. Um, because it's just it's just it's probably the most epic thing out of the items we've been given rather than like bug fixes and stuff so there we go guys we're done and dusted a little quick preview of the tech 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 tapita oh my gosh try saying that 10 times the tapiara tech saddle oh, is absolutely epic now you may have noticed on the actual console version and this version you've seen the survival guide well it wasn't working it now is it's basically a tutorial gives you a little introduction into the world of Ark. And I thought this was really cool. This is really something good that they've added into it. So let's do it. Let's look at, click on it. And it's really good to see that they're doing this. Because if you, you know, Ark is a hardcore game. And lots of survival games take it on board. You know that you know what a HUD is and you know how to craft something. But there are so many shortcuts in this game for the menu options and stuff like that. So it's really good they've actually added this. I know for so long we was all wondering what some of these pictures meant, what did they actually do, the terms of the buffs and stuff they give you. And even people still don't know how to use the radial wheel and like what they all really do. So although it doesn't explain every single item or thing, it still just gives you a little bit of a glance if you're an absolute arc noob. And same thing again under the crafting tab, you've got harvesting, crafting, and then obviously got placement and tiers, and then crafting stations. And then let's look at the creatures. I'm gutted, I thought it would be like a place like we used to have it where you could look at all your dossiers in just a quick simple way. But obviously you've still got to unlock all of them. Torpor and Taming, so that, that's good, it gives a little description of it. So all my tutorials are going to be defunct, no one's going to be clicking on them anymore because most of them are explained. Passive Taming as well, that's really cool, I like that. And then you've got the maps and the explore notes just explaining it, so I think that's really cool. I'm Jay Plays Games. Hit this video up with a like, and I'll see you ratbags later on. Bye bye!